This is 2460 Route 2 in Herman. It's an executive ranch, um, very custom built. Has an attached two car garage. Notice they are uh, had paved driveway, but also has basketball hoop with fence behind it. Um, this was owned by the same owner who had it built. Um, it's only had one owner. Very nicely landscaped. Has a right in town location, but is got a lot of privacy. And pretty much everything is custom. It's got crown molding, if you notice, which is kind of unusual. It's got uh, wood floors uh, throughout with carpet in just the bedrooms. Nice sort of front living room. Does have, excuse me, blinds on a lot of the windows. There is a coat closet right as you come in. There is a kitchen which has the open dining area right beside it. There's a sort of bay window that overlooks the backyard. Nice thing is that it's got a completely tree backyard, so it's got a really big space that is private. Kitchen is all custom, solid granite countertops, uh, stainless appliances. It's got a uh, double oven, uh, dishwasher, trash compactor, notice there. And then there's a family room off of this, which has, again, a pocket door. This does have a fireplace, which unfortunately is just for aesthetics, but it does have some built-ins. And then it's got TV mounted there, which I actually believe is going to stay if somebody wants it to anyways. Um, if you decide you're interested, we can talk about that. This um, it's got a big back deck, kind of unusually large, good for entertaining. Great to have patio set, barbecue grill, etc. You can see there about the size of the backyard. Backyard dips a little bit on that side because the basement on that side of the house is walkout, but there is some more... Um, Lawn space on that side, which also is all treed. This has a brand new heating system. It's multi-zone. And there is this attached garage, which is a really nice feature. A lot of houses in our area just don't have garages at all, and many that do, uh, they aren't attached. This uh, technically is a two-car. They'd have to be small though. It makes a better one uh, car plus some storage. Uh, it does have an auto door opener as you see there. A few things here which the owner is picking up. The nice thing with the ranch layout is the bedrooms and the both bathrooms are on this same level. This is the uh, the garage, the uh, basement entrance. Do the master first, that's on this side. It's a pretty good size, we do easily do a king size bed set. Um, you can see here, the owner's literally uh, just been out a couple of days. We are still gonna have the carpets cleaned just because they're carpets. Um, it does have a built-in shelving system. And then uh, again, multi-zone heat, so the master has its own uh, heat thermostat. The bath here, also freshly renovated, nice cabinet. Uh, it's a Corian countertop on the vanity, and again, did uh, wood here, has a shower. So it has a full bath off the hall for guests as well, but the master has its own. And then it's got either two more bedrooms on this side or a bedroom and an office. Uh, kind of typical ranch layout, um, second bedroom is good size, probably do a queen size bed, fit a king probably, not much else. Um, and then the third bedroom is small and would make, a, again, a good third bedroom or an office. And that is here. A lot of people end up using these as two bedrooms with an office, which is sort of perfect. It does have a closet though on that side. And there is a linen closet here in the hall for linens, for the guest bath, etc. And then the full bath here off the hall, again, redone. 
everything just mint condition. Corian countertop on the vanity again. And then it has a full basement, which means great storage. Let's see here. We are, there's no railing. We are gonna add a railing on the stairs, um, just for safety's sake. Uh, it does have a washer dryer uh, that's almost new uh, and is a top load, but it is stainless steel interior. Nice Maytag set. Somebody had their own, they could use their own and set these aside, but the owner had this sort of a setup as, excuse me, um, an exercise area down here. Could be used for almost anything. Does have a wood stove down here for backup heat. Um, if the owner's insurance will allow it, he's gonna leave it that way. If it won't, then it'll be disconnected. So it's just a, a great amount of space down here. And most basements in Maine, you can't walk outside, but this one has a door right over there, which we'll go look at in a second. Um, over in this corner is where uh, the heating and oil tank and such is. And the owner had a workshop over here and they left this stuff on the wall pegboard. So if um, somebody's into crafts or woodworking or something like that, I mean, nice little space. The furnace uh, is almost brand new. It's a Pensati, uh, high efficiency, and it has a boiler mate. So you can take two showers at once, etc., which is a nice upgrade. A lot of houses just run the hot water off the furnace, which sometimes means you run short. The property is rented with the tenant paying utilities. However, uh, the owner will be taking care of the lawn. It's got a pretty good sized lawn, and that sometimes is an issue. It can be pretty expensive. In the summertime, it'll be three or $400 um, a month to do uh, the landscaping. So the owner is gonna take care of that. It, see here, it has a little bit of a step down. So the uh, owner had done a little thing, so it literally sort of just walks in. It's got this nice area off to the side, which is good size, and they did the retaining wall to allow for the walkout. It's even got granite steps on the steps going up, so uh, very nice sort of setting. And that actually finishes 2460, Route 2 in Herman. Uh, nice location right in town Herman, but also just literally 10 minutes into Bangor. Uh, Herman has a, a newer high school, very good school system. Uh, a lot of people moving to Herman for the school system. So certainly keep the property in mind. And if you're interested, you need to do our application that's on our Rent Bangor site, www.rentbangor.com. Again, www.rentbangor.com.